Oh, a customer gave me a computer to work on. Uh, here's the front of the computer. It's an Inspiron uh, 520. Uh, I'm sorry, 1520. Uh, and she's saying the hard drive is bad, so I'll probably repeat that when I turn it over. <laughs> uh, anyway, one thing you got to remember when you drop off your laptop to uh, someplace to get it worked on, please include the power supply. Luckily, I have one, and I don't have to go back and get it from her or, or deliver it. So uh, just uh, make sure you provide the power supply so they can work on it. All right, let's flip it over and see what the other side looks like. Okay, so I'm going to show you some basics. All right, uh, as as in all the others, you want to remove the uh, battery first. So if you pull back on this side right here, it clicks in the spot. And this guy over here, you just pull, pull back and then pull the battery out. You can do it with one hand. So that's how easy it is. Um, over on this side, there's four screws I already removed. And I actually put them into a, a little area to hold them. All right, and then you take this guy and just pull it out, and there's your hard drive. All right, it's a 120 gig hard drive. I already looked at that. Uh, over in this little panel right here, there's one screw from the memory, and you go ahead and lift that up with your thumb. Get get your thumb underneath, and I'll, probably because I have the camera rolling, I can't seem to get it right now, but it does come up. Uh, there we go. Got it. All right, it's one uh, 512 uh, uh, gigabyte RAM, or uh, I'm sorry, one 512 megabyte RAM. Uh, your BIOS battery is in a nice spot right here, but there is no other areas to put RAM. It's not overlaid, it's just one, one piece. I don't know if you could put a gig in there, but uh, you could try. All right, but that's a very nice spot for the BIOS uh, battery, it's the CMOS battery. Uh, it is uh, actually uh, better than most others, so it's easy to get to that. Uh, there's a couple of screws here that, that you remove, one right there, one right there. Uh, inside here is your wireless uh, network card. It looks like there's uh, cables here for another one, and if you move this, it says, uh, all right, let's see if we can move it with, to where you can see it, all right, uh, WWN, World Wide RAN, and then there's WP uh, over here, um, plug, so I don't know why you would want to upgrade it to that, so that's probably why they just left them there, all right, and of course you put everything back, all right, so that's, uh, that's the down and dirty about this, um, I first put these two screws out and try and get out. Nope, you got to get all four of them out. Okay, and the speakers are back here. All right, so uh, actually that's I think the front of the computer. Hey everybody, check this out. Able to load Windows 7 on uh, on this old computer. It has 512 megs of RAM, and uh, all the devices work, which is really cool. And uh, 500 gig hard drive in there now. Device the 120 that failed. So uh, it comes with Windows XP on it, so it's not obsolete. Just uh, stick it clean if you want. Install Windows 7 and you're all set. Hope you liked the video. I'm sure my customer's going to love this laptop. She's already expressed a uh, big thanks. So uh, subscribe if you want, all right, and share it with those who have the kind of, this kind of uh, laptop. Bye now.